Gorgeous, sparky, scrumptious Libra. Welcome to your love tarot reading. This is going to be for you and your person, boo boo, whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bumble day, marriage. Let's take a look at Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please show me angels. What is happening? Also, Libra, we're assuming some kind of a rift or separation with these you versus them readings. You cannot make this up, Libra. You're appearing in your own reading yet again as of the Justice card. Awesome, Libra. Uh, also, Libra, uh, if you're new to the channel, Welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. And if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I see you, baby. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, my darling Libra. I hope everyone's having a wonderful uh, birthday. Uh, shout out to friend of the channel, Denise. I don't know if you want me to shout you out, but Bill, but I'm just going to shout you out and tell you happy birthday. Nobody needs to know. I mean, apart from everyone who watches this video. <laughs> all right. Anyway, boo -boos, uh, I love you all, my darlings. I hope everyone's having a wonderful time. You got the three of th I'm wonderful time. <laughs> and there it is. Three of swords. Wonderful time in heartbreak. I do apologize for my voice. I'm still fluey. You know, it is what it, I don't know when my voice is coming back to normal. But you do have the three of swords here. So uh, your person in this rift or separation is totally heartbroken. Okay, Libra. Uh, look, I'm Scorpio, sun and rising. Uh, I know a little bit, something, <laughs> some, something about heartbreak and feeling deep. Okay, you know, it's all about, you know, uh, Scorpio is all about going into the depths of things, depths of death and stuff. Your person is like over, like in there. <laughs> They're in hell. Like this person is in hell. And I do feel like they broke their own heart. And they know, you know, the good thing about this situation is that your douche flute, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying it is a douche flute, but it's a douche flute, douche flute test, anyone in between. I do feel like this douche flute knows they brought it on themselves, okay? Because you got, uh, this is how they see you. They see you as their karma, the justice of the situation. They know that they're in the wrong and you're in the right and they brought this on themselves. That's coming up very, very strongly. Please show me angels what happened here in the past to make this true sister. I'm sorry. You know, they could have tried to break your heart and they broke their own heart. I hope they apologize to you with them. Uh, boo boo. It's like you were their dream come true. You cannot make this up. You got the start and the judgment on each side of what happened in the past. You were everything's person ever hoped for it. Like you were just their ideal little bit bill and the two of swords. But you see, they didn't understand how important this connection was. And I feel like someone threw, uh, I, this is what I'm getting. So don't, don't get offended if I say it like this, but uh, it's kind of like um, a nasty way to say it. But what I see here is someone throwing the connection away uh, into the trash, you know, like they trashed something and just threw it in the dumpster on the dumpster fire. Mm, they took this beautiful golden uh, gorgeousness diamond encrusted gem little boo-boo uh, egg of a love and they just threw it on the uh on the dumpster fire what an amateur yeah look this person just didn't appreciate uh i mean they appreciated your you and they um if it was a bimbo himbo from tinder for example anyone you met on a tuesday anyone in between uh they immediately fell in love with you <laughs> it was like love at first sight or infatuation at first sight. It was like an awe. Starstruck, boo-boo. They were starstruck. But they didn't understand the value of that for their life and their future, you know? Because I feel like it could be a soul connection here with that star. It could be a soul recognition, a soul you know from a past life, from a time gone by. But, you know, and with that judgment, definitely that kind of a vibe. But this person has a lot of darkness. It's interesting. Scorpio came up now. Uh, you could be dealing with a Scorpio Aquarius or another Libra. Um... So it's like they pre they saw your beauty, appreciated your beauty, handsomeness, beautifulness, you know, however you vibe. But at the same time, they didn't really appreciate what that actually means on a soul level. And they let the connection go uh, because they didn't see the value in it. They thought you had your standards were too high and they didn't want to try. If it was a more established connection, uh, it was someone who... Um, in the same way, you know, this is like one of those situations. You see these couples... There's like... um, mm, oh, I... I need to stop saying this because I, I started saying things like, oh, there's an SNL sketch about this. Like, but there, I think it's SNL or maybe it's something else. But it's like, I think it's with JLo and she like plays like the hot wife and like her husband doesn't understand how hot she is and he like treats her like trash. And it's like funny because like other people can see like, I don't know, whatever. It, you got to see it to believe it. Anyway, so it's like, you know, that kind of thing. Like, let's say like whatever, like let's say I was married to JLo or something like treated her like trash, you know, because uh, I didn't appreciate that I had a gem. You know what I mean? So 
it's kind of like that kind of a situation. If it was a more established connection with someone who was a peasant, married to a goddess god, anyone would scream J-Lo. And they were like, you know, oh, whatever. Like, oh, it's just old J-Lo, you know. My, my old girl, you know. Like, oh, she needs, you know, she, maybe I should get an upgrade or something like that. Uh, just not appreciating the beautifulness of you. Uh, choosing not to appreciate. Because deep inside, they do appreciate you. They know your value. They know other people look at you. They know other people are interested in you. Um, but because of that, you know, it's like this person would rather just like neg you, make you feel uh, low, make you feel negative about yourself rather than acknowledge that they have competition. Therefore, they need to treat you like a princess, prince, anyone in between. But though, that is the actual truth. If you had a connection, a marriage, a, a stable connection of months, years, whatever, with someone who you felt like wasn't appreciating you, even though you, you get a lot of attention or, you know, you're like, you know, you're just someone who you know, like you can get the game, you know, uh, <laughs> it is because uh, of their insecurity. They'd rather just like not compete and just cut off, you know, just play with your mind than compete for you. And you weren't expecting them to compete, Libra. You just were expecting them to acknowledge your beautifulness. And they d didn't want to do that because they were thinking, um, see, this is such a silly, they were thinking, well, if I don't acknowledge Libra's beautifulness, Libra's going to think that Libra's not beautifulness. <laughs> but it's like, you know, dumb, dumbass, that's a dumbass plan because Libra knows their beautifulness, boo -boo. They would like to reverse, <coughs> they like to, uh, they want to bring, uh, not bring back, um, they want, they want to take back what they did, like, they want to re reverse time. They want to reverse time, four of cups. They want to reverse time. They want to get a time machine, all right? They need a time machine. They want to get in the time machine, go back to the time when they made you feel rejected. Uh, they, I think they broke up with you, by the way. It doesn't have to be the case, but now they're heartbroken over that. So their own karma has come back around to bite them in the bum bum. All right, karma coming back around for them. <laughs> Libra, it's okay. Uh, this person will be coming in in the next six hours, six days, six weeks uh, with an apology. Uh, I think it's still going to be for your birthday, maybe. Uh, it doesn't have to be. Maybe they need a bit more time. They feel ashamed and stupid, but they will be coming in with an apology for sure. Hmm. Let's see what the advice is for my Libra. Oh, Libra, see? You are, their, you are the karma. You're my karma, but you can be my karma any day. Two of Cups. Is this really the kind of love that you deserve? So what is your ideal soulmate love? Um, make a list, you know, if, if you're confused about what you should be doing about this person, this connection, make a list of your deal breakers. Make a list of the things that you absolutely want. You know, it doesn't matter what you think you can get or deserve. Do a list of the things that you actually want, that your heart desires, and then see how this person measures up. Is this really your one and only forever soul? connection or is this an imposter okay uh, do they make you do they lift you up or do they bring you down libra that you know you, you're all good you're all about weighing things up libra here with that justice energy weigh it up the bill pros and cons of this person and then uh, either delete from database or reinstate <laughs> into their former position but no. uh, this is what i have for you today my darling libra welcome <laughs> oh my god I almost said welcome. Oh my God, Libra. I'm so like, I don't have a fever, but it's just like, uh, you know, when you've been coughing for, for like days and days and days and just like, it's like your head is like in a like different cosmic space. <laughs> Dear Libra, welcome. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh my God, Libra. You probably think I'm crazy. Okay, Libra. Anyways, <laughs> you're you're welcome to leave me a comment if you want to. If you vibe with my crazy channel, you enjoy my vibe, you like the extra, the extra vibes, uh, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button, and of course, like the video. I'm sorry, I'm just laughing at myself. And like the video, because liking that video really uh, helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is down below. Check out my sister, also Gondora Official. Uh, she has uh, an all signs channel you can check out uh, all different readings on her channel she is linked in the description box below under friendly channels she is amazing you probably already know and love her anyways boo -boo, i'll see you next time <laughs> oh my god Lira, i swear things will get better uh i'll see you next time take care of yourself and may the angels it's uh it stay sparkly and moisturized and may the angels protect you this is a disaster anyway i love you anyway mm -hmm.